want to record crisp and clean vocals, don't have the budget to buy an expensive microphone, well this video is perfect for you. I am going to share budget friendly USB microphone, types of microphone, prices and more. Are you ready guys? See you after the music. Hi, this is Julian Musk and as Chief Sound Engineer at NG Studios. I have worked more than 200 films and I've been in the music industry for the past 21 years. I have worked with all leading composers and singers in the industry. I would say I too struggled a lot before entering into the music industry. This channel will surely help you for all the budding artists, musicians and sound engineers who really want to learn more about audio or want to become a professional. Do subscribe to this channel. Get your basics right. I have seen all the YouTubers, podcasters who are super talented with their skills. I feel the talent should be properly presented through the accessories they have got. Some YouTubers cannot offer to buy an expensive microphone and some YouTubers are confused what to buy. I would say just study the basic of microphone. If not, then take review of microphone from people who have already using the microphones. So all the YouTubers, my first choice will be an USB microphone. Cause you don't have to buy an external sound card. This microphone you can directly connect to the computer and use it. My first pick will be Shure MV7. This microphone is a dynamic microphone and I would say most of the USB microphones are condenser microphones and this microphone is very useful for your home setup because dynamic microphone catches less reflection from your walls. It has got advantage as it has got two connectors. One is USB-C and one is XLR connectors. USB-C you can directly connect it to the computer and XLR connector you can connect it to the sound card. So it has got a combination of analog and digital both. It supports 48 kilohertz 24 bit and I would say it has got an cardioid polar pattern. Other future cool feature is it has got a touch panel uh, you can uh, with a volume slider you can swipe your fingers increasing and decreasing your microphone level and headphone level. It has got a mute button. It has got an LED indicator of, of your volume increasing and decreasing. It has got an headphone out with no latency. I would say it's an ideal choice for your home setup. This cost around 20,527 on Amazon do check out my second choice will be bad dynamic Fox this microphone is a large diaphragm condenser microphone it supports 96 kilohertz and 24 bit which is a very good sign for this price range I would say this is one step ahead than blue 80 which supports 48 kilohertz 16 bit and the price range is just in thousand rupees difference I would say go for bad dynamic Fox rather than going for blue 80. Other thing I would like to share it has got and mix knob and mic level knob. It has got a mute button. This microphone has got a low cut and high cut on the back side of the microphone. I would say this microphone is an ideal choice for home setup. What are some problems you face as an YouTubers? Do write in the comment section, I will surely help you with my guidance. Keep watching till the end as I am going to share more reasonable USB microphones and also I am going to pick two favorite microphones. Do like, comment and subscribe. My next choice will be Blue 80. This is a large condenser diaphragm microphone. I would say this microphone has four multi patterns. One is cardiac, omnidirection, bidirection and a studio mode pattern. This microphone supports 48 kilohertz 16 bit this microphone also have a mute button and gain control and a headphone out with zero latency this is an ideal choice for your home setup it has got three condenser capsules costing around 12,490 it's an ideal choice for all the youtubers and podcasters my next choice will be rode port mic first of all i would say this mic looks awesome this is a dynamic microphone and dynamic microphone is very useful for a non-treated room. This microphone is a carded pattern microphones. I suggest to use it. The only disadvantage of the microphone that it's not an USB microphone. 
still i have mentioned this microphone only because of its quality you can use this microphone with your sound card it has got an xlr output just use it if you have an external sound card it has a very reasonable price and a very good sound for podcasting do check out guys my last choice will be samsung go condenser microphone i would say this usb microphone is a very inexpensive microphone costing around 4980 rupees it's a portable microphone it has got two polar patterns one cardioid and one omnidirectional it has got a minus 10 db pad it has got an led indicator for a normal signal level and it goes red when the levels are overloaded it has got a zero latency headphone output i would say this microphone is an ideal choice to begin with a quick tip to test try recording your vocals in mobile microphones and webcam microphones and try to compare it with your usb microphones and find the difference in quality if you want me to pick two microphones among this list i would go for shure mv7 and bad dynamic fox listen and train your ears according to your sensibilities i have shared all different types of budget now it depends upon you what to choose do like comment and subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon see you on the next video